every prophet must have a voice. Because a prophet who is voiceless is no prophet at all. What is a prophet? A prophet is God's voice. There are some who think that a prophet is like a fortune teller who predicts the future. That is not a prophet. Ang tawag po doon ay manghuhula. On the other hand, recently, there are some people who call leaders in demonstrations, leaders in rallies and protests, as prophets also, because they stand up against evil, they protest against injustice, and they call for reform. That is not a prophet. The prophet is not a fortune teller. The prophet is not a predictor of the future. The prophet is not just about somebody who causes trouble against injustices in society. So what is a prophet? A prophet has two important duties. The first important duty of a prophet is to challenge what is wrong. But as the prophet challenges what is wrong, the prophet also gives hope. The prophet must give hope. The prophet does not only disturb. The prophet offers consolation. The prophet does not only call evil evil. The prophet calls for repentance because the starting point of being a prophet is not frustration about the situation, is not anger against the unjust people. The starting point of the prophet is always love. He loves the world. He loves the people. He loves society. He loves humanity. And that is why he calls humanity to correct itself and offers hope. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, please always remember that. Simeon, like all the prophets, had a voice. And that voice challenged what was wrong and at the same time offered hope and consolation. And the virgin that we venerate this afternoon is named after the town. Or I don't know if the town is named after the virgin. But town and virgin are called manawag. And tawag is the root word. And tawag is a voice. The voice. Because the Virgin of Manawag, Our Lady of the Rosary, is Queen of Prophets. The most important duty of the Queen of Prophets is to have a voice. And the most important duty of the Queen of Prophets is to allow God to use her voice. And the most important duty of the Queen of Prophets is to challenge what is wrong in society and yet offer hope and consolation for something better. Because the virgin does not come from anger. The virgin does not come from frustration. The virgin's voice has no angst. Because the virgin's voice comes from love. Because she conceived love in her heart before she conceived love in her womb. And the name of love made flesh is Jesus Christ. Ngayon po, Naririto tayo para magfiesta. Pagdasal natin yung nagbo-board exams, pagdasal natin yung may sakit, pagdasal natin yung namimiligro ang pamilya, pagdasal natin yung mga nalilito, pagdasal natin yung gustong baguhin ang kanilang buhay, 
Pagdasal natin yung gusto makakita ng magandang buhay sa ibang bansa. Pagdasal natin sila. At ang pag-asa natin ay pakikinggan tayo at bibigyan tayo ng blessing. Bibigyan tayo ng grasya. Bibigyan tayo ng konsuelo. Bibigyan tayo ng pag-asa. Pero ang birhe ng manawag ay hindi lamang naririto para magbigay sa atin ng biyaya. Ang bihe ng manawag ay hindi lamang naririto para magbigay sa atin ng grasya at sagot sa ating mga panalangin. Sa ang bihe ng manawag ay naririto rin. Kung papayagan mo lang siya, if you will give her a chance, she will disturb you and point out what is wrong with you. Point out what is wrong with our society. Point out what is wrong with our community. Point out what is wrong with your family. And if you allow her, she will change what is wrong. She will reform what is sinful. And our lives will be better. The Virgin of Manawag is not a mother of cheap grace. The Virgin of Manawag does not just offer us consolation without conversion. If we are not receiving her consolation, could it be because we are deaf to her challenge of conversion? If we are not hearing our prayers answered, if we are not seeing our hopes fulfilled, the whispered intentions before her feet answered, could it be because we are only waiting for consolation, but we are not well, we are not willing to be disturbed. We are not willing to listen to her appeal for conversion. The Virgin of Manawag is a powerful lady answering our prayers. But do not make the Virgin impotent and powerless to change us for the better. Because the Queen of Prophets does not only give hope, the Queen of Prophets also disturbs and troubles and if we listen to her, she will help us to be better. And becoming better, that is the best answer to our novenas, to our prayers. Today, please whisper to the Virgin, Dear Mother of Manawag, I am giving you permission. Disturb me. I am giving you permission. Trouble my comfortable heart. Virgin of Manawag, I am giving you permission. Tell me what is wrong with me. Virgin of Manawag, be a mother to me. Not just a mother who consoles, but a mother who corrects, a mother who teaches a mother who wants the best for me to be. Dear Lady of Manawag, you are the Queen of Prophets and your voice is God's voice. May we hear you not only saying yes to our prayers. May we hear you disturbing us for the no's, for the infidelities, for the dishonesty, for the cruelty that we have embraced. Lady of Manawag, be a prophet for me. Disturb me, console me. Amen. <laughs>